The time for the coming of our enemy is near. I know. We must be ready with our plans to carry out our alien abduction lie. I hate those people created in our enemy's image. We will make sure they do not see the truth. They will never suspect that it is Jesus that will take his pathetic Christians off this planet. We've spent thousands of years preparing these stupid creatures to believe our version of events. Exactly. And soon the earth will belong to us forever. And all those who reject the Christ will serve us for all time just as it was meant to be. Yes, and we will finally be vindicated. There is just one thing that troubles me. What can possibly trouble you? We have never been able to stop the events of prophecy, so what will be different this time? Good question. Forget that I said anything. If we stick to our agenda, everything will be just fine. I just wish we could kill every last one of those children of light. But they are too well protected and the Holy Spirit keeps us restrained. Do not worry. Soon our Lord Lucifer will lead us into victory. Even now he has already chosen a man to lead the nations. And our Roman Church is doing a fabulous job at creating the one world religion. Yes, it is all working out accordingly. Now let us get off of this moon and back to Earth. We have some deceiving to do. This just in. Breaking news. Apparently there has been a worldwide mass disappearance of what seems to be millions of people. Reports of mass casualties are also being reported as planes are said to have crashed after pilots have vanished. The same is said to have happened along the highways and streets of many cities around the world. Driverless cars are careening off of overpasses and trains are derailing. Hospitals are reporting mass disappearances from maternity wards around the world. Apparently what has struck our planet has affected all babies and select people. Sorry to interrupt Paul, the White House is about to address the nation. My fellow Americans and citizens of the world, today we were struck with a tragedy of unknown origins. We are still trying to figure out what happened. Many of our friends, family, and loved ones have mysteriously vanished and are unaccounted for. During this time of grief and fear, we must come together and unite what remains of the human race in peace. It is only through peace that we will make it through this troubling time. We will hear more from the UN. As more information comes out, may God bless us in these trying times. Citizens of the world, we have been dealt a devastating blow. Many of us have lost our family members and loved ones. But rest assured that we will finally make peace a reality. I know you all have questions as to what happened to your loved ones and I will give you those answers in time. Mr. Star, what has happened? Can you give us any explanation as to where our families can be? Indeed I can. What I'm about to tell you would have previously thought to have been impossible. I have been in contact with an alien race from another galaxy. They are the ones who have removed certain people from this world. The individuals that have been taken unfortunately weren't evolved enough to enter into the new age that we will now begin. Our alien friends have told me that those taken were of an old mindset that needed reprogramming. What do you mean an old mindset? The old mindset that we have to worship an external deity when in fact we are our own gods. Our alien benefactors have shared with me that all of us have the seeds of godhood inside of us. It is now up to this global community to bring about change that will see this planet become the new Garden of Eden. I will be going back to Europe this evening and will address this more from the east. Thank you all for coming. As you all know, Recent events have called for us to come together in peace for the first time in human history. I have met with the Israeli Prime Minister and Palestinian leaders and have some exciting news to deliver. There will be a new peace agreement between Israel and the rest of the nations. They will be allowed to rebuild their sacred temple and I will help them achieve this goal. Mr. Star, are the rumors true that you have been elected the new leader of both the EU and UN? Yes, this is true. I reluctantly have accepted this responsibility thrust onto me by my peers. All I want is to do my part in bringing this fractured world together in harmony. 
Who can argue with wanting that? But isn't it dangerous for one man to possess all this power? Maybe before it would have been. But this is a whole new world we are living in. Now I must take my leave to meet with the Israeli and Palestinian leaders to finalize our agreements. Again thank you for coming and welcome to the new global society. We will make peace our top priority. Finally the temple is rebuilt. Now we can implement the second phase of our agenda. Indeed. The Jews are already saying that their Messiah has arrived. After all, the Bible does say that the Savior will be called the Prince of Peace. Yet I am the person that has brought peace. Yes you have Vincent. And our benefactor has promised us the world if we served him. Now the world will turn to us to guide them. What do you mean us? Um I didn't mean us. I meant you of course great one. Yes and don't ever forget that. Now that we have the peace agreement signed and the temple rebuilt the only thing left is to unite the world's religions and begin work on unifying the currencies. Excellency, you will be happy to know that I am already working on the one world religion. It won't be long before it is a reality. The only obstacle in our way are those two individuals who showed up in Jerusalem. The people are calling them the witnesses. Yes, they showed up after the vanishings. We will have to deal with them eventually. But no matter, because our time is now. Everything is coming together just as planned. With everyone catalogued I can now control who buys and sells in my new world. Now it is only a matter of convincing everyone that I am the true messiah. Once that happens, they will gladly take my mark and pledge their loyalties to me. And those who do not will be dealt with. Now we will await the announcement of my new religion. Ladies and gentlemen of the press and of the new world. I have a big announcement that is sure to be a blessing to you all and will ensure a lasting peace among the people. The first part of this news will be shared here with you all. The second will take place at the newly rebuilt temple in Jerusalem at a later date. As you all know, we have been divided throughout history because of our political and religious differences. Today however this has ended. All religions are now banned except for the new religion of unity. Unity will be all inclusive and ensure that peace will thrive in our time. Thank you for coming and I will see you at the temple. May unity and peace be with you all. <laughs> Citizens of our global community, I have an amazing announcement that you all will be thrilled to hear. As you all know, these last three years have been trying. We've seen natural disasters and global warming on a scale never before seen. This of course followed the vanishings of millions of people who were taken by our alien benefactors in order to recondition them. Through it all one man has been there for us and has lifted us out of the killing fields. And it is this man that many of your religious books spoke about. I am here to tell you that your Messiah your Savior has arrived and walks among us. I now present to you Vincent Starr your Savior and Lord. Thank you my fellow citizens of the new world. Yes it is true, I am the long-awaited messiah that you all have heard about. I have answered your cry for peace and safety. And now I will take my place at the head of all tables by putting my throne in this Jewish temple built for me. I know there are some in our new world that are clinging to the old ways. I also know that some of you have bought into the lie of those two so-called witnesses and their 144,000 followers of falsehood. Make no mistake about it I will be taking care of them that they trouble you no more. Soon my colleague will implement a new chip that all of my true disciples will take to show your loyalty. Now let us make this world a paradise. 